Hey, it's James the Forager here. Welcome back to another recipe. Uh, today, with a mouthwatering cheat and store, marsh samphire and caramel ice cream. And on top of all of that, no ice cream churner required. It sounds a bit mad, marsh samphire and something sweet, but this works really well. Let's imagine a twist on salted caramel ice cream. First, I'm going to head out and grab our marsh samphire. Just want the tips. We've got video to ID that stuff if you'd like to, to head over there. And then to start, when we get on to making it, I'm going to chop up our forage mash jumper into small pieces, little chunks, that's what I'm going for, little salty pops in the ice cream. I'll stir this into our next ingredient, which is 100 grams of condensed milk caramel. This stuff alone is unbelievably tasty. And then 300 ml of whipping cream, pour that into a bowl. I'm going to whip it up so it's got light peaks, not too whipped, not really soft, somewhere in the middle. And then I'm going to mix in our caramel and samphire mix. Now, I'm going to mix it in slowly because I don't want to get any of the air bubbles out of the cream, but I also want it to fold through. I don't want it to be thoroughly mixed. I want to have lines and veins of caramel. Once it's all mixed, pop it into a tub, spread it out nicely, nice and flat, lid on, needs to be freezer safe. I'm going to pop it in the freezer for a minimum of three hours. You can go over three hours. Um, the longer it's in there, the firmer it gets. But for me, the sweet spot is three hours. That's when it's still really nice and soft. And that's it. Marsh Samphire Caramel Ice Cream. Enjoy.